Greetings, friends. Guess what? I found a UFO. A mysterious flying triangle above the deck of the ship. Not that kind of UFO. An unfinished object. Some of you may remember my corset belt making video. Well, this is the piece that was supposed to go with the piece that I finished. At the time, I wanted to finish it, but I could only find the lining, if I remember correctly. This is what was supposed to go with said lining. I made a new outer belt to go with it, but recently I found these whilst digging through my stash pile. And I figured, why not make another one? This time the approach is going to be a bit different. I am not going to make an opening in the front, I'm just going to keep this closed and embroider upon it, or maybe do some felt applique. Applique? Applique? I am forever confused. There's some really noisy birds outside my window. It sounds kind of cheerful though. Anyway, I'm gonna folk it up a little bit. Maybe do some embroidery or maybe cut up some felt and whip stitch it on in folk like folksy shapes. I haven't really got it into my head yet what exactly I want to do with this. I just know that I want it to be a bit folksy, folk artsy. Yeah, you'll see. So, first things first, because it needs some adjustments. It's a little too big. I want this belt to be a little bit thinner, because I would like it when I wear a dress for the dress to sort of fall over it a little bit. And now when I hold it up against myself, it's almost like a full underbust corset. And that's way too big. So I'm going to trim it down a little bit. Add boning channels, boning, and we're going to save the very... Yeah? Okay, come on. Yeah, okay. I come on, okay? Even dit afmaken. Yeah? Hello? Oh, anyway. Let's just get going.
there we go. I cut out all the boning using these tie wraps as boning. Now all we have to do is smooth the edges a little bit because, come on, focus. Focus. You can do it, yes. As you can see, they're quite sharp. So that will not do. So here's where I'm at so far. I have attached the leaves, the flower, and I'm now debating whether to do one bead or three beads. And also debating if I should do um, like a, what's the color? Turquoise? Aqua? Well, anyway, if I should do like an embroidery of this color, like a straight line across the leaf because I actually do quite like the effect that this gives it sort of sets it off however I don't want it to be just one big mess explosion of colors I do want it to keep it in the same color scheme a bit which is well the colors you see here and I still have this this felt to go with it so I think I will leave this decision until the very last and then see if it will still make sense to add this but for now, I'm quite happy with how this is going. It, it looks really cute, I think. It's a little bit wrinkly, but I hope that that will be solved by pressing it with a wet towel. So we'll just sort of press everything down, even everything out a little bit. But yeah, we'll see how that goes in the end. Either way, I'm not, it's not off-putting to me. Not enough to like take it all out again in any sense. I, I do like the fact that it is straight lines and I also do like the fact that it went very quickly because if I have to chain stitch everything this is going to take many many more hours and as we all know I am a busy mom person so if I can take shortcuts I will take shortcuts. Can I just share this moment with you all? My two kids are playing by themselves, not arguing, and I can sew, and that was my scissors. Yeah, there they are, just lying there. So I've 
done the edging and it took a while because I hadn't it took a while because I hadn't paid close enough attention and focus yes focus come on come on focus you can do it you can focus I believe in you yes um, this is the one that's left there were many more uh, the stitching had punched through to the front that wasn't supposed to happen and well I guess I have grown so meticulous about my stitching yes process that only took about 20 years but you know who's judging certainly not me <laughs> anyway yeah if you hear me sniffing I have a cold and I am now in the phase where my nose resembles a leaky tap and my head is stuffed full of cotton wool it's not pleasant but it could be worse so anyway there were a couple of these mishaps along the way and I very meticulously went back and pulled them out and did it over again so it took about twice as long as it should have if I just paid more attention in the first place uh, yeah this is the back I am thinking of maybe covering it up because let's face it this is not a cute look but then again it's on the inside nobody's gonna know but me so yeah 